So I stopped recording, you know, and then I was going to like go and save because this is like the end of the thing where it's all dark, but I don't have any options. Ah, that's why. You're on a path Next time. in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Hey there, one so Cal playing Slayer Princess sold a little bit with the chapter uh, page, the Specter. That was yesterday, real quick. But now we are today. Cannot skip as of yet, which is interesting. Yeah, because when the chapter two things are gonna be different. Uh, just before I want to start, I just want to say something. So with the way that the entity has been speaking. I feel like there's a chance we might be heading towards a conclusion, and I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in me giving it the old round two. I would be interested in giving it the old round two, honestly. However, uh, it is known, it was announced by the devs, that uh, they are working on an expansion of this game, or just an update, uh, Slayer Princess, the pristine cut. And I think that for my round two, for narrative and just personal reasons, I will wait until that release. So as I'm not saying this ends today, I don't know like when the end is actually gonna happen, but yeah, like there will be a stop once we, once the game tells me it's over, and then uh, we will return post update. Just thought I just put that out there, like I don't want to hide that. You're here to slay her. That's right. If you don't. It will be the end of the world. If I do, it will be very boring. Oh. <laughs> uh, right, you don't remember a lot of what. Should he still be stoic? Yeah, as of now, he basically... No, we started talking near the end, though, during the cabin segment. My tricks. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. Uh huh. Is if that so? What happened? Then maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's fine. The call. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Sounds great, Mr. Cole. Well, for whatever reason, you're going to insist that this has happened before. At least your heart's in the right place. It's neat, because like we met a lot of these during uh, the extended cut of the Razor. Uh, 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 all right, let's just, let's just go. I'm gonna heed oh, the colds. Uh, Before you go any further, she will lie, word, she will cheat, usage, and she will do everything. I don't know, my ability to communicate to just kind of stopped for a hot moment. Don't she Whoops. Be a problem. Sorry. Cold is taking over here. I, I think that's fair. They just showed the up. The interior of the cabin is okay. cold. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. So, so the theme of the specter then, it's run down. Like, I was wondering, so like, because we created, we created the specter by not engaging, right? So I was wondering, it would be an unengaged cabin, but I guess, yeah, they expressed that by just it being, like, the blade all run down. Implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah, no, I'm gonna... We're... It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Yeah, this is the world of abandonment. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. That would be interesting. Because we clearly killed her before offing ourselves off. So would it stick? You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I mean, if we're gonna fight a skeleton, a blunt weapon would be better. I'm gonna be real. Can we, like, can we knock a, a, a leg off the table and use that? The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. 
If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. All the wallpaper is peeling off. The room below is silent. Silent. Nobody's here. Naturally. Yeah, obviously. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you yeah. Ascend the final step. Oh, that the is form of the princess weird. Comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. I love how narrator hesitated for a hot minute second, like before saying a, a skeletal body. It's like, wait, what? They kind of <laughs> didn't expect that, huh? Huh? Okay. She's definitely dead. We did it! <laughs> we beat the game! It's just like I told you. Before oh. you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Oh, yeah, we're not equipped to kill a ghost. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Considering how clean the dagger stay, though, it's probably magic, so that would help. And finally, <laughs> the rest happy. of the body floats up <laughs> to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on? <laughs> Gee, settle down there, Shaggy. Oh, wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Ghosts sometimes can do things. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. Sup? I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Uh, unfortunately, I am not currently taking feedback. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Look how scruffy her line work is. That is very, very on purpose. Look how elegant her crown is in this form. Compared with her skeleton face. But like, it's like it's not full skeleton. Like, she can smile. Her touch is cold and ethereal. Formless, yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. She doesn't seem too unfazed by her state of death, but also, she's been like this for a while. We're here to do a job. Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your blade. It's like you're slashing at air. No matter how many times you stab at her, no matter how many angles you strike from, all you manage to do is interrupt her form, the skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through, unable to find anything well, solid. Here I was, hoping that the... I love how the chain is connected to nothing. Also, I love how this is portrayed. This is really cool looking. But I was hoping that knife would be magic. Seemingly, it's not magic enough. Hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. But I didn't say you could touch me. Uh, to be fair, I did not. I, in fact, extremely failed to do so. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job? Or what? <laughs> that is so mean! <laughs> huh. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, it's tempting. It's t uh, You know what? Yeah, we don't. Slay harder! Once more, and once more, your blade cuts through nothing as she disappears. Really? Her voice chides from elsewhere in the room. You whirl around, finding her hovering between you and the basement stairs, looking you over with grim disappointment. Look, I tried. Okay? She draws in close. I was willing to let bygones be bygones, killer. I was willing to ignore everything you did to me so we could get out of here, together. Well then why do you were so weird about introducing yourself here, huh? Because you're a ghost. All I ever wanted was to leave this place. 
All I ever wanted was to find a way back home. Ooh, interesting that this form of you has an actual want. Wherever home is. Her eyes turn from wells of sorrow to pits of wrath as she stares into you. Uh, to be fair, that's fair. I guess violence is the only language you speak. That is accurate for this me of me. Like, I'm going to be real. <laughs> your chest, and then... That's not fair if you can touch me when I can't you. Yes. Nothing happens. Yeah, okay, yeah. Are you sure about that? So something should have happened. This is like the great stalemate. And yet it didn't. We're fine. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. A horrific splintering, the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. I got a heart attack. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed. Starting with your body. If you don't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. She's real now. If she's making us dead, we should return the favor. <laughs> you swing your blade towards her briefly corporeal throat. It connects. A gash widens across her neck, glowing ectoplasm leaking from the wound. There you go. Hey, look at that! I just know- yeah, this is the room from this angle. That, like, never happens. But it's too little. Oh, too wow. Little. In her hand, you realize she clutches your still-beating heart. It thumps on second. Yeah, probably should have stopped, but also... Did you notice? Did you notice, y'all? Color. Did we get her? No, I don't think we did. <laughs> Even if we didn't, we've given her something to remember. See you soon, killer. Later. I, okay, so like, is it makeup? Cause you're you're blinking inside your skull orbit. I'm afraid you'll never know. As she crushes your precious organ in her hand, everything goes dark, and you die. 